Um, first, there's some things that uh, many of you may not be aware of, and certainly some Canadians are unaware of uh, some of the, the facts um, regarding federal corrections. Uh, the first thing is that uh, generally around the world, correction is big business. The Correctional Service of Canada has a budget of close to $3 billion dollars to manage about 12,500 um, incarcerated persons. The ratio between uh, staff and prisoners in federal correction is probably the highest one in the world, with a ratio of 1.2 staff per prisoner. In terms of the cost uh, per incarcerated population, if you take the $3 billion dollars and if you take away 6% of that budget to look after the community corrections component, you end up with an average cost, all inclusive, overheads included, um, of about $225,000 per year per individual. This guy's garage. Like and subscribe. Um, Dr. Zinger, We've, in my last iteration on, on public safety, we had conversations about corrections as well. And I uh, noticed in your summary that you have some new issues you're facing, one of them being made, excuse me, medical assistance and dying, and that's one of the new challenges facing, uh, facing corrections. Um, the rest of your report, however, doesn't make much mention of that practice. So an access to information and privacy request revealed that as of August of 2020, a total of 11 individuals in Correctional Services Canada's custody had made requests for medical assistance in dying, of which three were granted. Now, this fiscal year, how many incarcerated people sought medical assistance in dying? And how many incarcerated people received medical assistance in dying? Can you, can you tell us those numbers, sir? The answer is no. Uh, and I will tell you that I'm quite upset about it. Uh, and um, when uh, new legislation is being proposed, I was asked to uh, testify, and I, I provided uh, some, I thought, very thoughtful and important uh, uh, changes that needed to be done. And one of them is that uh, the service, Correctional Service of Canada, has no obligation, statutory obligation, to inform my office of uh, uh, somebody uh, uh, either requested or having had the procedure of made done. I think that is inappropriate. Um, I, uh, so that's one thing that I'm a little uh, uh, upset about. Um, <clears throat> the second one is the most obvious one, is that some of the procedures have been conducted inside penitentiaries and I think that is uh, eth ethically wrong. Uh, and uh, uh, Canada will, uh, is becoming the only country in the world that sanctions uh, uh, made uh, in, a, in, a, in a correctional facility. I think it's, it's extraordinary. Uh, we shouldn't, uh, correction should not be in the business of shortening the life uh, 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 of individual under their roof. It should be done in an outside hospital. Um, so I've, I've mentioned that as well. Uh, so, um, and those are small little changes that I think you, uh, would be important. And the third one is that corrections does not do any mortality review uh, when it comes to MAID. And for me, it, it should. And it, it should, why? Because there are questions that are uh, important, um, uh, not just in terms of ensuring that made procedure was was appropriate, but questions about whether the health care that was provided to that person was up to snuff and did not accelerate the request for made, for example, um, or was there everything that was done to trying to transfer the person outside the penitentiary so that they could make a decision which is much more uh, in, informed and free of constraint in the community uh, before requesting MAID. So uh, this Dr. should Zinger, be subject to it, investigations. It, it, uh, and I think beyond what you have indicated, and I certainly uh, understand the frustration you have with that, 
I'm wondering though, and, and, and I know you don't know the answer to this, and this is more of a statement, the concern of the slippery slope that made has become where we know uh, across uh, this country uh, leading up to the review last fall that there are those who, <coughs> who uh, you know, seek, made, and have received medical assistance in dying from mental health challenges, not imminent death, for which there is no cure. Um, and I suspect in our correctional services that would even be more of a challenge. And uh, unfortunately, with, with uh, you know, some extension of this and a year-long extension to even start considering made uh, for those who are experiencing mental health challenges, you know, we are the only country in the world who would even consider such a move. And, and it's troubling. And I think it's going to be troubling for you and correction services moving forward.